This is InfoLive TV headline news. I'm Margot Dutkevich. Tens of thousands of Syrians gathered outside the U.S. Embassy in Damascus Thursday to protest the U.S. raid earlier this week in which eight people were killed, including a key member of al-Qaeda. Hundreds of Syrian riot police encircled the embassy building that was closed due to security concerns stemming from the protest. Police in riot gear pushed back the chanting mob, some of whom carried pictures of Syrian President Bashar Assad. Damascus asked Washington to apologize for the cross-border raid conducted by special American forces. The U.S. said the raid was carried out because of Syria's inability to stop foreign fighters from crossing the border into Iraq. Knesset Speaker Dalia Itzik finalized the date for general elections Thursday, setting February 10, 2009 as the date. The process for general elections were launched after Prime Minister Hodormot announced his intention to resign in order to fight the corruption charges against him. Tsipi Livni, who was voted as new Kidima chairwoman, failed to form a new government. The Hezbollah-Palestine terror group in Gaza fired a Qassam rocket at southern Israel Thursday, breaching an already fragile ceasefire with Israel. The rocket landed north of Sterot, causing no damage or injury. In response, Defense Minister Hood Barak ordered the immediate closure of all the goods crossings leading to Gaza. Days before the U.S. presidential elections, Iranian Parliament Speaker Ali Larijani and Supreme Leader Ayatollah al-Khamenei warned that the U.S. Army tax in Pakistan and Syria will invite a clear-cut, unexpected response, similar to the attack carried out by suicide bomber Hussein Fahimida, who blew up destroying an Iraqi tank during the Iran-Iraq war in the 80s. Prime Minister Hood Olmert apparently resolved the higher education crisis, preventing an all-out strike of the nation's universities on Sunday after he ordered the transfer of 515 million shekels to be injected to the universities ahead of the new academic year. Olmert's move came after a meeting between university representatives and treasury officials broke down on Wednesday. That's all for InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.